which means I'm stuck in between an angel and an animal. And it don't take me much to move to either level. <laughs> <laughs> See, see, if you think I'm joking, there's a little spiritual elevator in your spirit. It's in worship you push the top floor. Singing songs and just that's that angelic one that just, you know, now you into the heaven. And before you can get home, turn your station on something else, telephone ring, and you leave the penthouse level of heaven and go straight down to the first floor. That's that animal nature in you. Say amen if you can. Don't know that that is not true. And man is the only one that has the ability to go either up or down. Catch me on a bad night, there might be an animal you might come in contact with. See, y'all looking funny again. Okay, all right. Y'all think I'm joking? How is it possible, the church doesn't realize this, how is it possible that Adam, what I had Noah, could be on an ark with all kinds of animals? The same God that tells me, or told them, or told man at that time, don't eat this animal, don't eat that animal, don't touch this animal, get rid of that animal, you can eat that animal. That same God that said that saved them all by two. Watch God. This is the deeper meaning of the Noah's Ark. The same God that tells me not to put a wolf on the altar. It's the same God that saved the wolf on the ark. How did the lion stay away from the lamb? He made cages or rooms for each animal and divided them and kept them apart. That's sanctification. He doesn't get rid of the wolf in you, he just locks him up. He don't get rid of the snake in you, he just puts it over here. If you if you really grow deeper in the word, see there's a, there are animals that run loose on board. But the Holy Spirit blocks him. Uh, y'all ain't ready. Let me let me uh, y'all uh, think I'm making this stuff. The, you can preach the gospel from the old testament if you know how to unlock the symbols. Salvation is not about getting rid of your old man, your old nature completely. It's about bringing the new man out, separating the two, whereby your younger brother takes heel to the older brother and says the day is going to come, we're going to trade places. Each Esau and Jacob. Esau came out first, representing the flesh. The flesh is here first. You were not saved when you were born. Flesh was here first. Inside of her womb, there were two boys. Y'all got me way off in the field, but I'm coming back to where I'm supposed to be. In her womb, two, two, two children were fighting because it represented the two natures that would be inside of all of us. One was flesh and the other was spirit. When you understand that, then you will see Esau coming out first, meaning that he should have been and was the heir and he was the eldest brother. But his younger brother caught him by the heel when he was coming out of the womb, letting him know, signifying that the day is going to come that you're not going to control me, but I'm going to be there's twins inside of us. There's the flesh in you and there's the spirit in you. There's the wolf in you, there's the dove in you. There's the lamb in you, there's the snake in you. And the art only divides them. And you got to live with it until you get to shore. Of this house, the messenger, Brother Lamont, has seen it. Bless his ministry, bless those who rally around him. And we pray for a special unction, a special anointing over this church right now. That you'll bless this congregation with the building, with the 
facilities or anything they need to glorify you in spirit and in truth. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, if it's your will, that you'll grant all the ministers of the gospel throughout the world, even here in this part of the country, that those who are striving to take it to the next level, that you will be merciful to them because the enemy is all around them. That's not outside of the camp, but they're on the inside. Bless my brothers who carry the word. Bless my sisters who are married to the brothers who keep the word. We pray for the congregations at large for peace. And we pray, Father, most of all, that you forgive us all for our sins. This is our sincere prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. It's all together, say, Amen.